guys, uh, so tonight's recipe, um, I will be making the famous and trending Dalgona. But I'm not going to be using coffee. I've tried the coffee already, so I know how it tastes. I want to try the chocolate Dalgona. So let me just introduce you our three ingredients. We have here cocoa powder. I am using non-salted since I'm going to be putting sugar. Sugar, and I chose to use brown sugar and all-purpose cream actually it should be whipping cream but i don't have one so i'm just gonna use a bit of this and this is chilled since it's not a whipping cream i already chilled this so it has the you know whipping effect as well so so first we're gonna be putting our one fourth cup of cocoa powder guys this is already alkalinized so that the bitter taste of uh, the cocoa is already taken off. That's the reason why it's um, unsweetened as well. And one thing that you guys should know is the measurement of everything should be the same. But I'm going to be putting less sugar in mine. So I'm going to be putting just half or one eighth cup instead of one fourth because I don't like it too sweet. And then the water should be the exact amount of the cocoa. So, let me just get hot water. And then our hot water. So, you just have to mix this. Thoroughly. Alright, so now I'm going to be adding our creamer already. It's going to be the same exact measurement, so it is one fourth cup. And again, since I'm not using whipping cream, the cream should be chilled. So I did chill that. I mean, my cream is just staying in the fridge for like all the time, so it's already chilled. So I just keep on. By the way guys, I don't have mixer or electric mixer, that's why I'm doing it manually. So, A plus for effort. <laughs> and I'm doing this like around 5 minutes. It should be around 5 minutes. Alright guys, so this should be okay already. Please be aware that we cannot achieve as stiff as it is, like the coffee mixture. If I'm using um, just the regular full cream or Nestle cream or not a whipping cream. So, for this, it's okay already. I'm just gonna give it a final mix. But it's almost stiff anyway. Look, it, it, it's kind of sticking already in the whisk. So it should be fine. And put some ice in a glass. the milk I'm using a sterilized milk here but you guys definitely can use fresh milk just add more there and we can already put some of our chocolate dalgona mix hold on Okay, there you go. So you guys would know that you are successful if it's floating on top. It should not be going through the mill. There. Wow. If you guys have um piping bag, the one that's being used for baking, you can use that. But for mine, I'm okay with this. And then just put a bit of twirl. Put the sign on it. Alright, there you go. So our chocolate dulgona is already good. Look, look at how good it looks like. Wow. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. 
Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification below for you guys to be updated on my succeeding recipes. Thank you!